Hey everybody, my name is Kalen. I'm one of the two producer dudes, and today is a very exciting day for me. Um, I love ballet gear guitars a lot. I already have one. This guy right here. It's definitely uh, one I very much enjoy. I've had it for about a year and a half. It's an incredible guitar, and is is definitely become my favorite of the bunch of what I have currently to the point to where I've even scaled down my uh, guitar arsenal because this one is definitely my clear favorite. It feels great, I love the necks. I could go on and on about it, but this guy right here, it's a little bit different. I call it like an evil twin brother to this guy. It's similar, but it's a, the Whitman body shape, so kind of T-style guitar. It's a baritone scale length. It's a 25, or 26 and a half inch scale length versus a standard 25. So it's an extra inch there. Um, and it's very similar to the PRS Mike Mushock baritone, which has always been my favorite baritone guitar in terms of feel. So my goal with this was to have a baritone so I can play in a little bit lower tunings with more tension, but not feel, you know, like a, a lot of baritones do where it's like a, too big of a stretch. Um, it feels kind of like you're fighting it. I want it to feel more comfortable. So that's my hope with this guy. Um, I cannot wait to see it. I haven't opened it. Obviously, this is the unboxing of it. I've been waiting about seven to eight months for this guy, so it's so exciting for it to finally be here. So let's open her, shall we? Awesome. Sweet. All right. Cool gig bag with it. Hopefully that's in focus. Opted for the gig bag this time. It's a nice gig bag. It's kind of like mono-ish style gig bag. I really like it. I think it'll work great for what I need. And I have other cases. If I need to throw this in here, I think it'll fit just fine. So, well, awesome. It looks so much better in person. Oh my gosh. Ah, uh, dude. So rad, so cool. All right, I can just show you guys. Hopefully that's in focus. I'll kind of move it around just to make sure. Yeah. So cool. Okay, so we have my Balaguer semi-custom baritone woodman guitar. Uh, going over the specs really quick. 26 and a half inch scale length, true audio bucker and a bridge, and uh, I'm not sure the exact model of the tele pickup in the neck. It's got the ash body with the, uh, with, I think they call it rustic brown finish. Um, hip shot bridge, locking tuners, bird's eye maple fretboard, roasted maple neck. Really cool guitar. All right, I figured I play a few tones from it just to give you guys a taste of how it sounds. Um, here is a bridge pickup on kind of a cleaner ambient tone. I think it's a profile of a Morgan AC20 by Tone Junkie.
here is kind of a crunch tone. It's the from the Tone Junkie Trident Pack. Uh, honestly, it's still one of my favorite uh, Marshall style packs that they've they've put out. I think it sounds really good, and it holds up really well. Even I like the newer stuff, but I keep going back to this one for some reason. Um, it's got a really nice tone to it. Here's more of a hot Rod and Marshall. Again, a Tony Junkie profile. Uh, it's from the Rock Pack. I think it's a 72 Super Lead. Um, you know, the with the metal uh, symbol on it. I guess it means it's more, a little bit heavier sounding. I think I modified it a little bit, but it's very snarly and I like that, so. <laughs> Okay, this is kind of my go-to main heavier game tone. Uh, it's the STL Tones Brian Hood Bogner Mid Gain Ecstasy uh, profile that I modified some, so it's a little more aggressive than what's in the pack, and you know, tweak the EQ a little bit. But sounds really good to me. I love it. And here's a little bit more of, Ameri of an American style gain. Uh, it's an Archon from the Kelly McGregor STL Tones pack, uh, number 17. I think it's pretty much untouched. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
that's just some super quick tones out of this thing. I really like it so far. It's a killer instrument. I'm super happy to have it. Um, I'll compare this one to my other Balaguer. I'll do a kind of more extensive overview of both of those guitars in one video. Just kind of my thoughts after having one a year. And then after spending a little time with this one, what I'm thinking of it so far. So thank you so much for watching this. I really appreciate it. Um, I'm excited to get going with producing more content and for you guys. And let me know in the comment below if there's anything about Balaguer guitars or anything else that interests you, even if it's just recording related, guitar tone related, Kemper related. Uh, hit me up and let me know and I'd be happy to make some more stuff for you. So you guys have a good one.